Hey YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here with another haul. Yes, this is haul number two of my Amish country uh, thrifting venture. Again, hubby, Mr. Pudgy Picker, and I went down to Holmes County, stayed just outside of Berlin. I believe we were in Millersburg this time. We stayed in a cool tree house uh, cabin. Very fun. I cooked most of our meals. We relaxed a lot. And of course, I thrifted. So if you didn't see the first video, please go back and check that out. This is video number two. This is from a variety of a few different Goodwills and also a couple other thrift stores that are kind of just in that area. There are two uh, uh, thrift stores called Mission Thrift. Uh, one literally had just opened like six weeks ago. So very new. So if you go down there, there's a lot of cool stuff to find. And of course, I bought some little Amish clothes uh, to resell. I usually do that each year when I go. So let's jump in and I'll show you all the goodies that I got. I got several containers for my Lucky Bamboo. So I got this real pretty clear glass, 75 cents. And there's two of these little goblets. They were, one said 50 cents, one said a dollar. And I remember she said, oh, that's weird. And gave them to me both for a dollar. <laughs> this one, which is really cool with this uh, greenish brown on it. Uh, Mariah, I don't know. I can't make that out. It's probably hand did. 50 cents. And then this cool looking spiky one. And that was a dollar fifty. So yeah, that's uh five containers there. I also picked this up. I do pick up paperweights when I can find them. 50 cents. These were definitely at a place that was, I don't think it was a goodwill, <laughs> but it is uh the state of Ohio, of course, a political one, but somebody will like it. So I don't know how much I'll ask for that yet. I did pick up this perfume. It was only 50 cents. Got this cool bottom on it. It is a Davidoff Cool Water, 50 cents. So I'll look that up. If it's not worth anything, it'll go in my booth for probably five, six bucks. I got this little trellis. I think the price tag fell off. I have a little house plant I want to use that for. Another sign that says, grab your coat, leave a note, run away with me. That was $1.50. This very cute uh, iron metal $5.50 little stand. It is going to be painted. So I will uh, be painting that probably white or black, I would imagine. Two pieces of fabric. This one with the ballerina slippers is $0.75. Cents. And this one is $2.00. That's just two yards. So I will rewrap those, measure, make sure they're correct, and they will go out to my booth. Yes, I found a canister with mushroom on it. <clears throat> Usually when I've been finding these, they're too expensive because people have caught on to their cool and neat and collectible now again. This one was only $3, so that's why I picked it up. I uh, got this very cool looking tray. I put the tag to the front because it was on the back and I didn't want to move it. Yeah, um, Mission Thrift is the name of the place. $1.50, just a basic tray. I'll use it for staging some items and, of course, sell it. These are kind of cool. There's two of these. They were only a quarter. This was at uh, a mostly Amish thrift uh, store that was down there. These cute little shells. I might sell them together or I might just put them in some of my grab bags I do for my booth. Got hugging coffee mugs. Aren't they adorable? I've sold these before. These were only $2.50. A sign, it is what it is. And that was $2.50. I think some of these might have been on sale, but do you think I can remember? No, I cannot. Uh, World's okayest boss. <laughs> that was $0.50. Cents. That'll go in my guy area. I do have a wine shelf, so when I find cute little things like this, I do like to find them. So uh, you have uh, this little cuff that you put on the bottom of your wine glass, and you write your name, $1.50, so hopefully that tag will come off pretty easy, and then I'll sell this on my wine shelf. Got a uh, little ornament here, $0.50, cents. 
It says home, Ohio. So somebody will probably want that. I think it's cute. It might be considered a, um, I don't know, Christmas ornament. A very cute, very adorable, and pretty heavy <laughs> little hand mirror. Isn't it adorable? It was a dollar. So, hygiene. Okay. <laughs> so, probably we'll put that either in a grab bag or I'll just price it as it is. Let me step over here. Had this cute little shadow box bird was a dollar. Uh, uh, I picked up a cute little hat last year and have sold it. This is another one. This was a little smaller, I think, than the one I got last year. It was only a dollar. The other one had a name in it. This one did not. It says small. Isn't that adorable? Oh. Uh, got this sign. I think I paid too much for this. It was five. It says count your blessings. That'll probably go out now. This one has got this really cute little latch. So you can uh, you know, put a doggy picture in there. It says dog days. I don't remember how, yeah, how much that was. It was two bucks. Um, got one of these bowls. Now, if you know what this is, have you seen this before? In fact, I had to explain it to the lady what it was because these are worth some decent amount of money. This is my gift. I'll have to look that up. But this is a yarn bowl. So if you have a ball of yarn you're using, you put it in here, and then you put the yarn to come out here so that you can keep knitting and your ball's not rolling all over the room. <laughs> so that's what that is. So I'll look that up before I sell it. Got some very adorable <clears throat> little pet uh, coasters. One says, share your snack. Uh, you are sitting in my chair and put down your drink and pet me. Boy, that sounds familiar. Look at these lazy bones over here. <laughs> She's like, don't call me lazy. So those, I think, were 50 cents each. So I'll probably put maybe a buck or two, or maybe I'll sell them together. I don't know. Thought this was pretty cool. Might have had a lid at one time. It was only a quarter. That'll be nice for staging some smaller items in my space. Got this at a good price because I'm going to glue a few more rocks in there and put a succulent in. Looks like it was completely pulled out of there. It was only 49 cents, so it is glass, so that was definitely worth picking up. Um, let me see. Got a couple shirts for myself. This dark blue one. It's very royal blue, very pretty color. This was the color of the bridesmaids gowns in my wedding. We just had our 32nd anniversary. Can you believe it? This one says weekend mode, and then this one's just a basic kind of, uh, just a floral t-shirt. Kind of interesting design. I don't know how much these were. I think they were $2.49 at the Goodwill I went to. And then I got this basic, uh, like, walking stick that's made out of bamboo. It's just kind of decorative. That'll go in my booth. I'm going to go over these smaller items, and then I'll go over this little pile of clothes. Uh, managed to find some salt and pepper shakers and some napkin rings. These are vintage one. They are made in Japan. And they're little chickens. There's four of them in there. So these will probably go into my booth. Um, I usually put a piece of ribbon through them and tie it in a pretty bow and then price them. Um, I know this, these, um... Country geese are coming back, or goose, or geese, or whatever you want to call them. Duh, no, they're not a duck. But uh, this salt and pepper shaker was a dollar. Um, this one has the uh, plug in it. It's in there. So I'll put those out. Um, these napkin rings are like a copper color. Ooh, they're so pretty. So there's four of those. That was $1.99. This salt and pepper shaker with the little yellow flower. I love the, the fancy shape on this. These were a dollar each, so two for the set. I also had ones that had like a little um, like a little bisque uh, flower on top. They completely got destroyed, so I ended up having to throw those away. I only paid a dollar for them, but still. You hate to buy something to sell and then it doesn't make it to where it's going to go. This little salt and pepper shaker is probably handmade with the cork in it. So you have salt and pepper. 
And then this adorable little bell with the very dainty handle on it. Isn't that pretty? The purple flowers, it was 50 cents. Um, I got some wallpaper border. There are four rolls. They're all the same with the same uh, uh, lot number on them. So these will be going on eBay. I do really good with wallpaper border. It doesn't sell fast, but it sells, and I usually get a decent amount. These are York, which I do well on. These were only 49 cents each, so less than two bucks for all four. Another salt and pepper shaker. Has little hearts on it. Dollar. So those will go into my booth. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I got uh, one of these rice thingies because my uh, son, his girlfriend, uh, wanted to buy one. She doesn't like to use, I guess, the... I don't know, I'm always afraid to use the, the uh, plug-in ones now anymore. The heating pads, you're always afraid about burning yourself. So this is a rice one. Um, it was only a dollar. And then I got this little bag of stuff. I'll go ahead and tear it open. Um, this is going to be for my grab bags, my $5 grab bags that I do. I think these are just magnets. So there's a little... Uh, uh, Noah's Ark. Uh, there's this. Is this a button? Oh, yeah, look at that. Is it a button? Or maybe maybe that is a magnet. Look at that with the little tree. What's sitting underneath it? I can't tell. A little person? Um, there's a, a little John Deere tractor. Every time I see John Deere now, I think of Ann's dad he used to work there. Um, my grandfather had an international harvester, a red, a uh, red tractor. This little bear says "Sweetie Pie," and I think the magnet came off of that. Which there it is. I can glue that on. Uh, looks like we got a frog. He's missing some digits. I don't know what he was used for. And then I think these are magnets too. Two ninety-five. Oh, the Boyd's Country Bear Company. Yeah, so there's two of those. So yeah, these will just be used for grab bag stuff. Isn't it adorable? So the last things I'm just looking around, make sure I didn't forget anything. And then I uh, got only little girl, just a few little girl dresses. So I got a couple little boy outfits, and these are for a baby that's still wearing diapers. And it's like built in, so it's made to look like overalls. These are all handmade, of course. And these were anywhere from a dollar to, I think, two fifty. So this one was two. There's this one, same thing. It's got the little snaps and then the little buttons, and that's sweet. Oh, so cute. And then that one was $1.50. Funny enough, I did go to a couple of touristy type places that sell. And there was one booth that had uh, a lot of these little girl dresses hanging up for sale. And they were like $11.99. You know, if you live down there, you could do that. You know, go to the thrift stores, find these, and then put them in a boutique -y kind of thing. So you got this one. It's kind of a darker teal, just a little girl's dress. Uh, this one was a dollar fifty. This little blue one was a dollar. Look at that, just sweet and simple. This tan one, dollar. I got two pink ones. I'm not sure why, but that's one dollar and one dollar. Now, what I usually do is I'll measure these and kind of look them up what size they would be, and then put that size and then say C measurements. Because, of course, these don't have tags because they are handmade. There's a dollar. This guy, blue color. Oh, this burgundy one is so pretty. Uh, with the little cuffs on the sleeve. And I don't know. I think that one's probably a dollar, too. And then this pretty coral pink one. And I think that was probably a dollar as well. There's a tag somewhere. $1.50. So yeah, so these will probably be going on um, eBay, and I usually sell them for like $8.99 a piece. 
around there. I'll check just to see because I haven't sold these since last year, so I don't know what the market's done, why I wasn't looking. <laughs> so I will check. A couple more things that I missed real quick. Isn't this cute little bud vase? Oh, so adorable. And that was 50 cents. I don't have a little kid to bring me flowers out of the yard anymore. Those days are over until I get grandkids someday. But first, coffee. And it has the little stand that you put in the hole. That one was only a dollar. Isn't that cute? So that should do pretty well. So yeah, that's uh, all the stuff that I bought at the thrift stores. First one I showed you was uh, stuff from the outlet, the Goodwill bins. The next one is going to be, here's your little teaser, um, there was a antique mall that is a smaller version of a one that they built a couple years ago. And that one's closing. I didn't know that when I went in and I managed to find some things to resell because they were so cheap. And I made a couple deals. So I'm going to show you that next. And also I'm going to show you what I got in uh, Worcester, Ohio. Worcester, Ohio. Oh my gosh. If you live down there, you got some nice thrift stores. <laughs> So I went down there. We went down there to bum around. It was like a half an hour away from where we stayed. Uh, Mr. Pudgy Picker went to Panera and sat for a few minutes. And I buzzed around at some of the thrift stores. And I accidentally was thinking I was going to a thrift store. Ended up being uh, like a price drop place. It is an Amazon return center. I told you, they're popping up everywhere. So I have a haul from there as well. So that will be the next video. We'll have those, and that will be everything I picked up sourcing down in Amish country. So stay tuned for part number three of my vacation haul. So thanks for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever been down to Amish country, or do you have any Amish around where you are? Uh, let me know. It's pretty cool. Maybe uh, next year I'll actually vlog my vacation. I'm too busy having fun and relaxing to take pictures or video. <laughs> so again, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.